even though you can't see it. There's a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the hearts of each person on earth. Since the beginning of time, God has been fighting for people to know the truth. There was a time when Jesus himself needed to remember what was true to be able to defeat the enemy. One day, the Holy Spirit led Jesus into the desert. He was out there for 40 days and 40 nights without anything to eat. You can probably imagine that Jesus was very hungry. The devil came to Jesus while he was in the desert and tried to tempt him three different times. The first time, the devil could tell that Jesus was hungry, so he tried to use that against Jesus. He said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. But Jesus quoted from the scriptures and said, It is not just bread that keeps people alive. Their lives depend on what God says. Then the devil took Jesus to the top of the temple and said, if you are the Son of God, jump off, because the scriptures say, God will command his angels to help you, and their hands will catch you, so that you will not hit your foot on a rock. But Jesus saw that the devil was trying to use the scriptures against him. So Jesus said, the scriptures also say that you should never test God. Finally, the devil took Jesus to a very high mountain. He showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. The devil said, if you bow down and worship me, I will give you all of this. But Jesus had had enough. He told the devil, Get away from me, Satan. The scriptures say to worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Because Jesus used God's word, he was able to defend himself when he was tempted. In the same way, the enemy will engage us in battle by tempting us to do what is wrong. When we feel like making fun of someone, lying, or doing something that we know is not what God says is best. We can use the sword of the Spirit to defend ourselves against that temptation. We can hold up the sword of the Spirit.